What's happening, y'all? Want to do this video on something? And you know, I really never answer my critics, but I feel that some of y'all are such emotional wrecks with yourself that you really don't understand and can't critically think when I'm expressing certain points. You automatically get emotional and rush to an extreme. I did a video a few days ago about a woman, which might be a hoax. Someone told me it's a hoax, but it doesn't matter. That gave 365 or whatever, 324 guys HIV willingly on purpose. And in the video, the girl that got HIV passed out drunk at a party and a guy took advantage of her while she was sleeping. And I went on to say that as adults, we need to act responsibly. Because when you act responsibly, something like that will not happen. How can someone take advantage of a passed out drunk woman at a party if she's not passed out and drunk? Right. When you drink, you're supposed to drink responsibly, which does not mean getting drunk and passing out at a party. If a person planned on drinking until they're passing out, it's best to do it at home, okay? With someone you trust or people that you totally, absolutely trust or by yourself. Because guess what? That way, can't nobody take advantage of you. To me, the best way would be at home by yourself because can't nobody touch you. Lock all your doors, pull all your shades, get naked and start drinking and you won't have to wake up feeling semen dripping from between your legs. So, I had a um, subscriber um, post something that said basically that um, Tyrone, I usually agree with you, but no one no one deserves to get AIDS. No one. I'm sitting there like, okay, you're taking it too far. You're putting words in my mouth. She was like, here, take these words. Shove them on in. Yeah, there you go. Eat that, eat that, uh-huh, eat that, uh-huh. You said to me she deserved AIDS. Never said that she deserved AIDS. Okay. I told her that um, I did not agree with her. And I told her she can not agree with me. It really doesn't matter. As an adult, you accept the possibilities of what can happen to you when you behave irresponsibly. So she had came back, and I didn't even notice this until days later. And she had said something like, You sound like the people that say that woman, does, the women that dress like sluts deserve to be raped. And this happens and you deserve this. Let me tell you this, okay? If a woman comes out of the house dressed like a whore, she has her titties hanging the fuck out to the point where really all you need to do is see the areola. And she's got her ass cheeks hanging out. Trust me, there are women that, that, that dress like this. I have seen it, okay? And she goes to a party where she knows there's going to be a lot of drinking and rowdy men there. I am not saying that she deserves to get raped. But she does accept the possibilities of what can happen when you go into a party dressed like that with men that have the possibility of getting rowdy. You accept these consequences, these possible consequences as an adult. I'll give you some more examples so you people can understand exactly what I'm talking about. How about when you drink and drive? I never say, and I will never say, that you deserve death for drinking and driving. But as an adult that's supposed to be behaving responsibly because you do have that responsibility to yourself and to others around you because you can kill others when you drink and drive guess who else you can kill 
yourself. Do you deserve death? No. But you accept the responsibility and the consequences that can happen. When you text and drive, if you get into a car accident and you're paralyzed or you die, did you deserve that? You may not deserve that, but you accepted the consequences as an adult. When you have sex unprotected and you get a disease, whether it be HIV, whether it be syphilis, whether it be gonorrhea, whether it be herpes, it doesn't matter. You accept the responsibility and the different possibilities of the consequences that can happen to you as an adult behaving irresponsibly. Do you understand what I am saying now? Do not put words in my mouth. If I did not say that she deserved it, I did not say that she deserved it. What I am saying is as a responsible adult, you and every other person out there has to beware of the consequences of your actions, whether they affect your life or other people's lives. Because at the end of the day, you are accountable for yourself and what you do. Now, I'm really not going to answer uh, my critics anymore, but this is a video I had been meaning to do anyway. I wanted to do a video on people accepting responsibility for their actions. I could go on and on and on with examples. The woman that takes in the deadbeat man that you know has 10 other children and he doesn't pay child support and then you have a baby and he doesn't support yours? What did you expect? You absolutely knew what the consequences could be getting involved with that man. The guy that starts to date the jump off that every single dude in your town fucked and you think she's changed or they don't understand her like you do and she's going to be a good mother and then she cheats on you, guess what? You accepted the possible consequences for what you do. You go bungee jumping and the rubber band breaks. You intentionally, for fun and excitement and recreation, took your own life into your hands. Am I saying that you deserve death or the fall that broke your back and left you paralyzed? No. What I am saying is you knew the consequences. There are possible consequences for everything that we do. We have to weigh them and then act responsibly. One million subscribers. Woo!